Let's talk now to Owen Patterson, former Northern Ireland Secretary and firm believer in the Leave cause. Good morning to you. Good morning, Martha. Do you think that there is growing momentum now to delay the date for Brexit? I think there may be in Parliament, uh, but outside Parliament, the 17.4 million who voted and many who also voted remain are absolutely clear that we should leave. They voted to leave. But at the moment leave. the decision is in Parliament, isn't it? Uh, yes, but I think there is uh, real progress going on behind the scenes, which has been missed. So the Brady Amendment said we should replace the backstop with alternative arrangements on the Irish border. And I've been uh, leading a group of MPs, fellow extremists like uh, Damien Green and, uh, uh, and Nicky, and we have come up with People proposals. People who don't know all these names, you're being a bit sarcastic there. <laughs> no, OK, we, we've come up with proposals on the Irish border, uh, which Steve Barclay has put to the Commission, and he is going to set up a task force of EU officials and UK officials. And what we want to see is that this is made uh, legally binding in the treaty, because the Malthouse proposal is the only way forward. The the backstop is not acceptable to the DUP as it hives off Northern Ireland. There is no exit route from it. How very important this. And also, our key customs advisers say it is unworkable. There is talk about an AUK document which will require 255 million pieces of paper to be stamped. Now, this, the officials have told us, they know is unworkable. So this is extraordinary that the government is proposing to sign an international treaty on the basis of a completely flawed and archaic okay, is, customs is, is, system, is there, which they actually cut and, cut and pasted from the old Turkish system. Well, but is there any indication from the EU that they will entertain the idea of alternative arrangements? You've talked about the idea of a task force, but the date, March 29th, is rapidly approaching and there doesn't seem to be any sign from the EU that well, they're willing to entertain the well, idea of alternative Well, very important. We know Monsieur Barnier proposed the sort of stuff we're talking about, like inspections away from the border, intelligence-based screening, for a... Uh, the, the awful idea of a border between Northern Ireland and GB. And uh, Steve Barclay has been to the Commission and they are actually proposing a task force, which, you're quite right, would have to do its work after the 29th. Well, so, exactly. very, so, very at, so at the moment, where we stand, uh, the Irish government and the EU seems to be backing them as, saying, as standing behind the backstop. And Leo Varadkar has just said a backstop that includes the time limit isn't a backstop at all, nor would a unilateral exit clause work for us. Uh, yes, but you're ignoring the fact I just told you that we're revealing that the EU wants to set up this task force, which would look you in detail, which would... would be which, after the, after yes, the Brexit date. And, and, and it would be resolved before yeah, then, but doesn't it, it, for us to be able to leave on time? Yes, but you've got to recognise the existing arrangement in the backstop, our civil servants are telling us, are completely unworkable. They are archaic. 255 million are pieces of paper. Are you then arguing for a delay? No, I'm arguing. Let the, I'm let arguing. Task force no, I'm well. arguing that we leave because we have the interim arrangements, which people like me are unsatisfactory. But we can live with them as long as it's legally binding that Malthouse but, replaces the backstop. But, the but backstop you is absolutely know that unacceptable. Parliament is against. Uh, there's a majority in Parliament against the idea of leaving without a deal, and Parliament is very likely to assert itself and stop that from happening. So we're going to. But by your strategy is going to end up with a delay in Brexit, isn't it? No, at the moment, we we know there's a, a two-year in, interim period. We would much prefer to leave completely on the 29th. But if we can get this Malthouse arrangement through as a legally binding part of the proposed treaty, I think it will have very wide support right across Parliament because it gets us away from this hideous creation of an entity called UKNI. It gets us away from an arrangement where we cannot unilaterally leave. You know, we can leave the United Nations, we can leave NATO if we really wanted to. We can't leave this new arrangement and it costs us £39 billion. So this, this is actually the only way forward. Owen Patterson, we'll leave it there. Thank you for talking to us.